The Perseverance rover began its journey to Mars last year on the 30th of July and is due to land on the 18th of February next month. It was launched on the Atlas V rocket, which is what was used to launch Curiosity and InSight. With many exciting projects launching this year such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the development of the SpaceX Starship, the Perseverance rover is near the top of the list in terms of anticipation. It's estimated to have cost around 2.7 billion US dollars during its development from 2013 to 2020, so there is a lot on the line for NASA here. Getting into Mars is an extremely difficult task due to the lack of atmosphere, but more on that later. The Curiosity rover has produced some amazing photos over the years, including this massive 1.8 billion megapixel photo of the Martian surface. However, Perseverance will have the most advanced set of cameras ever sent to Mars. Curiosity had a respectable 7 cameras, while the Perseverance has a whopping 23 cameras as well as 2 microphones to record the sounds of the landing and the Martian wind. The MassCam Z, which is an improved version of Curiosity's MassCam, now has incredible zoom features, improved 3D imaging, and the ability to capture HD videos and panoramas. The images that Perseverance can capture will be out of this world. Pun intended. Another nice improvement the Perseverance rover has over Curiosity is the intelligence inside of it. This will allow it to figure out its path much, much quicker and NASA hopes this will reduce the amount of time needed to plan tasks and to navigate certain areas. Ultimately, allowing it to cover more ground faster, more efficiently, and to accomplish more tasks. The arm of Perseverance's arm is actually the same length as Curiosity's, but the turret on the end is 50 kilograms heavier. This is mainly because it carries a larger drill and set of instruments which will allow it to work more effectively. Over time, the wheels of the rover have always caused an issue due to wear and tear of the harsh Martian surface. Going over large, sharp rocks and standing against Martian winds play its toll on them. This is of course expected, but it is also where NASA are looking to improve on. Although Perseverances are made out of the same material, they are bigger, narrower, and have a thicker skin than Curiosity's. Not only that, but instead of the chevron pattern threads used on Curiosity's wheels, Perseverances will have straighter ones and have twice as many per wheel. Testing in JPL's Master Yard has shown that this pattern allows the wheels to withstand more pressure from the sharp rocks. One of the more interesting improvements is Moxie. This is an instrument the same size as a typical car battery but will produce oxygen. It could be a way for future explorers of Mars to generate oxygen from the Martian atmosphere for fuel propellant and for breathing. Oxygen is only 0.13% of the Martian atmosphere while Earth holds 21%. Moxie will work similar to a tree by inhaling carbon dioxide and exhaling oxygen. Carbon dioxide makes up around 96% of the atmosphere on Mars, so MOXIE won't have any trouble finding it. This could be a revolutionary tool that would help support interplanetary life, so keep an eye on this project. Another very exciting part of this mission is the Mars helicopter, which is attached to the rover. It will be safely released from the rover when it lands and will be the first aircraft to fly on another planet. It's only expected to last around 30 days, but if history repeats itself, it will probably last longer than its estimate. On its first flight, the helicopter will make a short vertical climb to 10 feet, or 3 meters, where it will hover for about 30 seconds. It is planned that for each test run over the 30-day campaign, it will incrementally increase the amount of distance it will travel. The helicopter is mainly a test run for future missions, but will allow us to get pictures of hard to reach places that the rover can't easily access and to also get a greater view of the area. However, the thin Martian atmosphere means it will have to work really hard to get off the ground. Let's hope this is the first of many aircrafts on other planets. There are a couple of mission goals that NASA have in mind for the Perseverance rover, many of which are expanding on what Curiosity has found over its journey on Mars. Perhaps the biggest goal is to determine whether life ever existed on Mars. At least on Earth, we know that all forms of life need water to survive. If life ever did exist on Mars, we can presume that it did so in the presence of water. This is why the landing site of Perseverance is so important and why so much research goes into where it will land. This is the Jezero Crater. As you can see, there is a clear path where water once flowed into what NASA believes was a lake. If there ever was life on Mars, it was most likely in an area such as this. 
Perseverance will do this by looking at rock samples for evidence of microbiotic life or similar. On Earth, sedimentary rocks leave a record of past life, also known as fossils. We're hoping that the Jezero crater may show examples of this, which would prove that life did in fact once live here. So we know water is on Mars. What if we can't find evidence of life? This wouldn't actually be a bad thing. Of course, it would be somewhat disappointing, but it would be a great scientific finding that where there's water, there might not always be life. Only time will tell. Another mission of the Perseverance rover is to gain a better understanding of its climate. It's important to know what it's like today, what it was in the past, and what the causes of climate change over time. The current Martian atmosphere is regulated by seasonal changes of the carbon dioxide ice caps, the large amounts of dust, and the atmosphere of the planet. Dust storms can get so big on Mars that they can encompass the entire planet. We want to gain an understanding of how this can happen. Monitoring the planet's weather maps and the amount of dust and water vapor in the atmosphere for an entire Martian year will help us understand its climate a lot better. It will hopefully be able to guide us towards a better understanding of how it changed over millions of years. Data gathered from the instruments of Perseverance will give NASA the data needed to understand these questions we have about Mars. Another very exciting goal for NASA is to prepare for the human exploration of Mars. Getting astronauts to the Martian surface and returning them to Earth safely is obviously an extremely difficult task. The more data we know about Mars and its hostile environment will give us the best chance to explore it in a safe way. One big challenge is the radiation on Mars. Unfortunately, it does not have an ozone layer like on Earth which shields us from lethal doses of solar UV radiation. We just don't have enough information about how bad the radiation is on Mars and any data collected by Perseverance will be useful for future missions. As you can imagine, landing on Mars is quite hard. So hard that around 40% of missions ever sent to Mars by all space agencies have been successful. It takes around 11 minutes for a signal to send from Mars to Earth, so by the time the rover enters the atmosphere, it will be already on the ground. This will be a nail-biting scenario for NASA and enthusiasts all around the world, as there are a million ways it can go wrong, and only one way it can go right. It's known by the team as the 7 minutes of terror for the entry, descent, and landing. Let's hope that it all goes to plan and the rover arrives safely on Mars on February 18th, 2021. A lot of time and research goes into these videos, so if you enjoy, why not leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching!